What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, there, guys? Welcome back. We are back again. It's still Dibalen Football Channel, Kaiser Chiefs Football Channel. Still football from the fans' perspective, we're still speaking Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, Kaiser Chiefs is playing against Barroca. And uh, it's, it's a tough one of visiting Barroca. It's the second league of the lock. And, and like we said, Kaiser Chiefs is going to be playing tough games. The, the next coming, you know, seven games of Kaiser Chiefs are going to be tough games. In fact, the seven games within this month of April are going to be tough games. All of them are going to you know, be like final games, are going to be uh, difficult to win, difficult opponents. And yeah, we've played three. We are, in fact, we're playing game number three out of the seven games. And, and it's a tough one. The first two games we drew 2-2 two -two against Stellenbosch, drew 2-2 two -two against Horoya. Horoya, we needed a draw with goals. We went, we got a draw with goals. And, and we found ourselves in the last eight of, 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 of Cape Champions League. Very huge milestone for Kaiser Chiefs, very huge milestone for the boys. Very big experience and, 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 and you know, sort of motivation for the boys. The fact that in the very same, you know, season where we're struggling, the boys are able to push and get results like we did in, in, in Guinea and get into the, the last eight of, of, of Cape Champions League. It means a lot for Kaiser Chiefs, it means a lot to the boys. It means a lot to Gavin Hunt as a coach. And yeah, and to us as fans, it's very historical. The game against Stellenbosch, not satisfied. The 2-2 two, two draw, not satisfied. Yes, happy with the fighting spirit, the coming back from behind, but not satisfied with the results. And something that we need to work on, when we're going to play now against uh, against Barroca, or playing tomorrow against Barroca, we need to fix these things. We need to fix these mistakes. We can't continue the same mistake the entire season. It just... Cannot work like that. We can't perform against weighted at Casablanca. Perform a uh, win against Casablanca. Win against Orlando Pirates. And come meet uh, Marisbeck United. Come meet uh, teams like like Stellenbosch. And you still you you fail to produce the results. And you come back. You come from the back. You know from from behind. And and it, you come from behind. And and it, it looks bad. You can't meet teams like Baroga. And and you freeze. And you switch off. And they're going to punish you, of course. There's this thing about teams in PSL. When they play against Kaiser Chiefs, all these teams that are doing bad, when they play against Kaiser Chiefs, they have this thing they can pick up. They are able to exploit Kaiser Chiefs. They are able to look a different team to be motivated, extra motivated. And we, need, we, need, we must not allow that. We must not allow that. We know Barroca is a team that enjoys playing against Kaiser Chiefs. It's a team that even if it's doing bad, they're able to fix their mistakes. They're able to fix themselves and face Kaiser Chiefs as a strong team. Like they did, you know, in the previous seasons, they knocked us out when they were still young as a team, knocked out, uh, us out of a cup competition. And then last season, they delivered one of the heaviest blows when, you know, Kambala moment, when we drew 1-1 one -one against them in the, in the last game of the season. And they handed, you know, the, the league title to, to Mamelodi Sundowns. It was very dev devastating and still painful even today to swallow, to think about it. And we hoped in the beginning of the season, if you remember, in this season, the first league against, against Barroca, we hoped that as fans of Kaiser Chiefs, Kaiser Chiefs going to go there, get some sort of redemption against Barroca, get some sort of, you know, revenge against Barroca, get some sort of consolation from what they did to us. And we failed, failed dismally. In fact, we almost lost that game. Almost lost that game. Kaiser Chiefs' first leg against Barroca was very terrible to watch, very painful to watch. It was long balls, Nukovic always isolated alone the boys defense of Barroca would just collect the ball from him and build and try to move forward whenever you put we put crosses you know on in in, in the in the box Masuluka Oscar and Masuluka just go out there and collect it and Oscar had the best game against Costa Chiefs if you remember collected almost all the balls that we, that we crossed and we put in we tried to put in their box but also almost if not produced uh, an assist to Masia and was very terrible. We only drew because Baroga, you know, committed uh, an own goal. They they scored. They actually assisted us to score, and we, 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 that's how we assisted. And and we, this time around, we need to go into this team. Baroga is a struggling team. I can't say there are positives. There are things that we need to look out for and stuff like. Of course, the fact and the culture is, and the history of Baroga is that when they play against Kaiser Chiefs, they can show up. But right now, it's, it's a struggling team. And Kaiser Chiefs has to do better. We need to do better against struggling teams. Gavin Hunt says that uh, the target right now, now that we've made it to the last eight of the Cape Champions League, is that we need to collect 17 points out of 
10 games. We have 10 games left. Almost the league is almost over. Only 10 games left and the target is to collect 17 points and it means you must get how much? Must win 5 games and draw 1 or you must win 6 games. And is it possible to do? I think it is possible. It is doable. Yes, I think it is doable. But do you think Kaza Chiefs is going to do it? I doubt Kaza Chiefs can win six games. We have seen it. We have seen it. Same story. Kaza Chiefs struggles to win games in PSL. Struggles to perform against even weaker teams in PSL. Even against weaker teams like, like Richards Bay. So, yes, it is possible to do. But I doubt Kaza Chiefs is going to do it. We are at position number nine right now. We have played only 20 games. And other teams on top of us... They've played 22 games. So what? Just two games behind. If we win, I think Kaza Chiefs is like 24 points. And then Cape Town City, 26. If we win two games, we're going to be on top of Cape Town City. That is at position number seven. We find ourselves in position number six if we win. And in fact, we're going to play against Cape Town City. So it is possible to make it into the top eight. We spent the entire season, last season. I mean, this season, the majority of the season out of the top eight. And, and it's worrisome. We never enjoyed two games into the top eight. We've always struggled, you know, trying to shy away from relegation zone and just maintaining, just maintaining a lot of draws. Right now, Kaza Chiefs is like seven games unbeaten. And you check the, you know, you check the stats. There's a lot of draws, few games just that we won, one against Orlando Pirates. And it's not a good one. It's not a good one. Also, Baroga is not doing well. Similar zone, we're in the same zone with Baroga. And like I always emphasize, we need to beat the teams that we find ourselves in the same zone with them. Right now, after these games, the last two games, the 2-2 two, two draws, Kaiser Chiefs has to approach this game of, uh, of Baroka in this way. I think if we can learn from the, the past two games, easy. First, eliminate the mistakes, the defensive mistakes that we made against Baroka. I mean, uh, Roya and the defensive, mis defensive mistakes that we made against uh, Stellenbosch FC. We can do better and then replicate the performances when we came back in the second half against Horror AC, second half against uh, Stellenbosch. If we replicate those performances, Kaiser Chiefs can do well. If we, re if we do that, the commitment, the fighting spirit, the things that we've always been calling for, Kaiser Chiefs can win, easily win, but we know the story. Kaiser Chiefs is consistently inconsistent and, and it's, 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 it's very difficult to predict Kaiser Chiefs right now, to say we're going to win or to say we're going to lose. Today we say Kaiser Chiefs is going to lose. They surprise you. Tomorrow you are saying they are going to win. They continue, you know, they continue to surprise you. So it's, it's another thing. It's another thing. I think the coach has to approach the game differently from the way we did when we played Baroka in, in the first league. No long balls. No crosses. Approach the game differently. Play through the lines. Give freedom to the boys. Let them play. There's Kama Billiard, talented. There's Tumisano Zuma who's talented in Kaiser Chiefs that showed, you know, in this game against Horoya AC. There's novels always, you know, continuously showing that they are talented. Yes, I'm not saying let us play without, a, you know, the, a, a, a number nine. I don't think it is workable. I don't think it is within the system of Gavin Hunt. It was just that there is no option against Horoya. He's going to bring a number nine. He's going to bring Castro or Nukovic. Yes, play with them. There's no problem playing with them. But still, try play around them. Try use the boys around. Try use Bilia. Try use Zuma. There's nothing wrong with that. Give freedom to the boys. Don't play crosses. Don't, you know, the, the usual game of, of Kaiser Chiefs. We need to change that. We need to change that system. We need also to be consistent. The first half and the, the second half has to be consistent. And we can win this game. There's no reason to, to lose this game, to be honest. But yeah, it's very difficult to give a prediction. And then in terms of the, of, of the lineup, Kune, there was no reason to, to, to take Kune out. After he played, came in for a play in the game against Weidat. Play against uh, Stellenbosch is not there. There was no reason. Continue with Kuhn. Proven. 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 And you, we continue to see this thing. And we can't keep on saying the same thing. Right back against Zana, two center backs. Normal, usual center backs. Mato and Cardoso. Left back, Frostler. Uh, Bakas. I mean, I mean, Blom is back. Uh, you know, from suspension. Play Blom. Play Bakas. I think this is the game where you should relax Parker because he's been playing a lot of games, been using a lot of energy, and and we know the age and, and stuff can catch up. Yes, I like his spirit. I think he can he can come in from the bench, but play Bl Blom and Bakas, and then in front of them play 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 Ngobo, and then the the, the, the three players up front, Manyang on the right, 
billiard on the left and then uh, as a striker play Nukovic and then outside you have Zuma you have options outside you have Zuma you have Castro you have the young players outside who still you know who still have uh, Parker as well outside he can come in in handy. I think there's no reason for Kaiser to, to to lose this game to be honest. And anyway, anyway, whatever lineup the coach plays, I trust the coach. I trust the coach. Just give players the freedom to play the game. Just give them freedom to play. You know, circulate the ball to share the ball to play play through the lines. There's no reason to to lose against Baroque. Baroque is not is dead. For me, it's dead. Defensively, they are not strong enough. Yes, in the midfield and you know offensively they can pose problems, but defensively they're not strong enough. I think we can take uh, advantage of that. In terms of score prediction, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, I'll leave it to you. What you think is gonna be a score? You know, outcomes between Kaza Chiefs and Baroka. Whether you think the Kaza Chiefs gonna win or Baroka is gonna win or it will end up a draw, give us your 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 your, your prediction in the in the comment section. Also, give us your you know your lineup in the comment section let's hear what you think about this game let's see what what you think about you know Kaiser Chiefs going forward whether you think we can make it into the top eight whether you think we're going to finish outside i'd like to hear from you if you're new in the channel I'd like to you know encourage you to subscribe also to turn on the notification button otherwise the Berlin football channel Kaiser Chiefs football channel football from the fans perspective it is love and peace